In today's video, I want to run you guys through some days of play sales that have been revealed coming from Target. Now, these deals are being noted as physical deals. However, given the fact that Sony has noted that these sales will be running on the digital PlayStation Store as well as physically, I imagine a lot of these deals will be available on the PlayStation Store as well come June 7th. Wanted to take a look at them. Target has not revealed all the deals, of course, but some highlights, including some major deals on some big PlayStation 4 exclusives, some of the best deals that we've seen on those titles. A PlayStation VR deal, a PlayStation 4 Pro deal, PlayStation 4 controller deals, and a couple of other deals were noted as well, so I'll be taking a look at all of those. Also, the PlayStation Plus freebies are available in Sonic Mania and Borderlands The Handsome Collection. Want to remind you guys about that and something you guys should do while you pick up Borderlands The Handsome Collection. There's a free download available that will enhance your experience. I'll talk that. Also, there's a CNET interview with PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan on the launch of the PlayStation 5. Some interesting tidbits coming out of that, so I did want to highlight that as well. First up, there have been a lot of days of play deals revealed thanks to Target. Now, I'm sure that these are not all of the deals. I'm sure the PlayStation Store sale is going to be pretty massive. Probably going to be one of the biggest sales of the year. However, Target did highlight a couple of deals. They noted that Days of Play allows you to celebrate with savings on PlayStation VR bundles, games, controllers, and more now through June 17th. And the image showcases that the PlayStation 4 Pro 1TB console will be $350. Honestly, I don't think a Pro is worth buying at this point, given that the PlayStation 5 is a little over a year away. I would just wait. I know the PlayStation 4 Pro does make some games perform considerably better, but do you really want to be dropping $350? That's not even that great of a deal on it, given the fact that we've had bundles in the past like the marvel spider-man bundle the god of war bundle and those came with the full price 60 dollars game and the console and it was 400 dollars. you got a custom designed console so 350 isn't really anything to write home about but if you're eager to pick up a pro that isn't all too bad so there you have that as far as the game deals go this is where things get really good marvel spider-man is down to 20 dollars, which is awesome that's without a doubt the cheapest i've seen marvel spider-man for so that's great if you've yet to pick up spider-man for whatever reason that is a great buy and i often say that it was one of the best PlayStation 4 exclusives of all time. I personally speaking did enjoy the game more than God of War and I seem to be very much in the minority on that. I just love Spider-Man as an IP. I thought it was a great open world game and I thought Insomniac just did the Spider-Man IP justice even if you're not a big fan of Spider-Man. If you just want a quality open world game with some incredible visuals and that's a lot of fun. Marvel Spider-Man would definitely fit the bill and $20 for that is great. God of War is available for $20. That's awesome as well. I think the majority of you guys would agree that that was the best PS4 game of 2018. Either that or Red Dead Redemption 2. This isn't actually the cheapest that God of War has been. Over on Black Friday, it was down to $17 at GameStop, but since then, we haven't had a deal like that, and that was like a doorbuster, so $20 for God of War is also great. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on a discount for that, so $20 for it is very good. God of War, a tremendous game, incredible visuals, awesome story, gameplay is solid, and it was the refinement that God of War really needed, and Sony Santa Monica has really revitalized the God of War IP, and future games should be compelling as well. I'm sure God of War 2 or whatever Whatever they decide to title it will be one of the major PS5 games, but nonetheless, the first title for $20 is great. Next up, Days Gone is a game that a lot of you guys might be waiting on a sale for. Well, here you have it. It is down to $40, which, while it's not as cheap as Marvel Spider-Man or God of War, given the fact that this just came out back in April... I would say that's a pretty good deal on Days Gone. I know the critical reception for Days Gone hasn't been super, super strong. It's sitting at, what, like a 72 or 73 on Metacritic, which is still a respectable score. But overall, I thought Days Gone was a pretty good game. Overstayed its welcome a little bit. This is one case where I thought the game was a little bit too long, and it probably could have been a couple hours shorter. But nonetheless, a reasonable amount of content here. Quality storytelling. Again, just like every other PS4 exclusive, first-party exclusive, that is Days Gone has some incredible visuals as well, accentuated by the PS4 Pro. And I think I think Sony Ben Studio have laid the foundation and fundamentals of what could come from their next game, so that's exciting as well. MLB The Show 19 is $40. That's pretty good, given that that's a pretty recent release as well. If you're a baseball fan, I'm sure it's pretty great. I can't speak on MLB The Show much, but $40 for it is quite good. All the DualShock 4 controllers will be $40. PlayStation VR bundle is $300, and that includes Blood and Truth, Everybody's Golf VR, two PlayStation Move controllers, the PlayStation camera, and of course, the PlayStation headset. So we have seen these bundles as low as $250 for Black Friday still. Target it does also note some other deals. I am not sure if this is a part of Days of Play, but this will be available at Target come Days of Play. So Anthem is down to $30, AC Odyssey 25 
Shadow of the Tomb Raider's down to 30. Battlefield 5's down to 30. Far Cry New Dawn is down to 20. Far Cry 5's down to 20. Team Sonic Racing is down to 30. Again, I don't know if those are directly related to Days of Play. They're kind of sectioned off in their own section based on the image. But nonetheless, those are some other deals. And again, the Days of Play PSN sale will be kicking off on June 7th, and we will be covering that super in-depth. But just wanted to highlight some of the deals that are going to be available. Spider-Man, God of War, Days of Gone. Those are some tremendous deals at those prices. All right, moving on from that, I do quickly want to note that Sonic Mania and Borderlands The Handsome Collection are free to download for PlayStation Plus subscribers right now. I'm sure you guys have already downloaded those games. However, I do want to note that with Borderlands The Handsome Collection, do take advantage of the Ultra HD Texture Pack that is available as a free download and it's PlayStation 4 Pro Enhanced. It notes that it increases the visual fidelity of The Handsome Collection and its DLC with an Ultra HD Texture Pack. Upgrade game textures such as characters, vehicles, weapons, and environments. Players will best appreciate detail at 4K Ultra HD resolution, but improvements can be enjoyed on other displays as well. The PlayStation 4 Pro is required to install 4K display required for 4K Ultra HD resolution. So if you guys do have a PS4 Pro, you're looking to jump back into Borderlands The Handsome Collection, definitely do give this a download as it will enhance visual fidelity and your overall visual experience. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. All right, next up, CNET has a pretty in-depth interview with PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan on the launch of the PlayStation 5, and here are some of the highlights and tidbits somebody gathered on Reddit. Speaking on cross-generational play and backwards compatibility, he noted, quote, offering players the ability to play a game on their PS4, switch to a new console, and continue, and then switch back. Effectively, it won't matter to Sony servers which device they're playing on. As a result, they'll have all the same friends while they do that. Speaking on visuals, he noted that the device will offer ultra-high definition 4K visuals at 120 hertz, which is twice the screen refresh rate of most TVs. Now, some people, if you're thinking that you're suddenly going to be playing games at 4K and 120 frames per second, I would temper those expectations really quickly. It's just like when they talked about 8K, guys, we're not going to be playing high quality PS4 games at 8K. That's just not possible. 4K at 120 frames per second, that's the same thing. It's probably just not going to happen. I'm just hoping that we can get smooth 4K 30 FPS gameplay, and that's native 4K or whatever the case may be. Maybe if they could push 4K 60 FPS, I mean, that would be tremendous, and I'm sure some of the lighter games will do that. But I'm still skeptical in terms of all of this performance talk. Some people talking, you know, 8K. Again, I think we can play 8K Pong, but anything beyond 8K Pong, I think it is going to be a little bit difficult even for a next generation console. Ryan declined to discuss the company's plans for the PlayStation VR. It was noted that PlayStation VR on the PS4 will be carried over to the PS5. However, I do imagine that they're going to create a new headset at some point for the PS5. However, just thinking about it from a logical standpoint, you can't be rolling out all this stuff to buy if you release the PlayStation 5 and you release the VR headset. You're essentially asking a lot of people to spend what north of a thousand dollars when you couple in games playstation plus subscription and not a lot of people are going to pay that so it's better to actually release them with some sort of break release the playstation 5 maybe a year or two later then release the next vr headset and go from there and he also talked about playstation now and streaming and here's what he said quote we have a cloud gaming service right now and i think we've been a bit guilty of not talking about enough now we're in 19 countries we have 170 publishers on board 780 games in the states we've actually achieved a lot and our intent is to try to take PlayStation Now to the next level later this year and then in the years to come. But I can tell you about the infrastructure in some of the parts of the world where we have very, very large businesses and they will not be conducive to an entirely streaming model for years and years. Again, I've been saying that so much. Streaming is not going to be applicable to everywhere in the world. I don't think it's going to be applicable to most in the States. Not only do you have to battle gamers not wanting to jump on streaming services because based on what I read in the comments section, it seems like most people either want to download their games directly or they want to buy their games physically. So you have to come back that and get people to jump on over to streaming but then you also have to create a compelling streaming platform that games are going to be streamed with quality and whatever the case may be it's a lot of hurdles to jump through can they do it i'm sure they can especially if they can jump through the major thing in making a compelling experience and then if they offer it at a great price i'm sure people will jump on board at some point it would be too enticing to resist but i just think we're not there quite yet we don't have all the information stadia's live stream tomorrow is going to be very insightful on everything that's to come with streaming i'm just still very very, very skeptical on everything that's going on with game streaming, but nonetheless, I've said that countless times. You guys know where I'm coming from on that. I'll leave the CNET interview in the description box down below. As always, you can check that out for a more in-depth interview on Jim Ryan with the launch of the PlayStation 5. And that's going to conclude this video. Again, some of the Days of Play deals have been revealed. Spider-Man's really good. God of War is awesome. Days Gone at $40 is great. PSVR headset at $300. Bucks. DualShock 4 controllers at $40. MLB The Show 19 at $40. Those are all great deals, but do expect a lot more deals on top of that. The Plus game 
games for the month of June are available to download right now, but with Borderlands The Handsome Collection, if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro, do get that Ultra HD texture pack. It is well worth it. And check out CNET's interview with PlayStation CEO Jim Ryan on the launch of PlayStation 5. Pretty insightful, not a lot of information that we already didn't know, but some interesting tidbits in there nonetheless. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.